228-215. Time now for game two. Race the two. It's been a crazy, crazy day, man. Been a great day. Loft, left lane. Strike. Stays with the urethane after throwing reactive resin ball change on his fill shot in game one. I love the interview, love the answer, by the way. I mean, he was honest, right? He was. How will Belmo bounce back? Good start. Well, Jason Belmonte bowling with a heavy heart this week as him and his family had to say goodbye to his grandfather, Antonio. His, his grandfather meant so much to not only the entire family, but in Jason's own words, he owes so much to that man. And everything he has and everything he is is because of Antonio. And lessons that he could have only learned from him will be passed down to Jason's entire uh, it, into his entire family and all of his children. Our condolences and thoughts and prayers are with Jason and the entire Belmonte family. Well said. Strike. Belmo, good start game two. After not one but two opens in the first and fifth frames of game one. Never could recover. Had a couple turkeys in there. <sighs> Prather's four bagger frames five through eight did the job. No, Game two, Red Star Belmo, nine pin. Got the five out. <laughs> uh, referring to the five pin from game one. Been a while since we've seen Chris on TV. Missed the self deprecating humor. He's <laughs> he's, lib. he's good at it. He, he likes to give it himself the business. But you got to respect the guy that's honest, too. I mean, you know, a player that that owns up to to it the way Chris did in that interview was, was pretty awesome, and you like to see that. It just shows you the human side of these guys, these players, and it's nice to see. Chris told us this week he'd have a good start to a block. <sighs> qualifying match play. And then just fall into a deep hole. Could never recover. Tournament after tournament. Very frustrating for him. Lack consistency. Been great here today, though. <laughs> Amazing run up this step ladder continues. Now, you know, what, what makes... These high-level players so great is that they're able to play multiple angles. They can go straight. They can hook it. They can throw it slow. They can throw it fast. They can roll it end over end. They can create side rotation. They're not limited to just one way of throwing it. Balmo clearly has his hands full. Checks the footwork. Look down the foul line. Does strike, though. Definitely another footing issue going into the foul line. Let's take a look if it's just, if he's sticking or if he's slipping. That looks like he just came to a complete stop. Looks to stay perfect front four. Does just that. Great good action. Got to be careful on that left lane. Look at that. Yep, that is a stick. You can see the hill come up off the ground. He was thinking or feeling that there would be a little bit longer 
slide in that approach. And when you come to a complete stop like that, it's unexpected. Jason did it a good enough job of getting the ball online and into the pocket. How will Chris respond? Very well. Locked in. Dual oil patterns. Challenging conditions. A great eight bowler field. Troop took group one. Can Prater do the same in group two? Win probability way currently in Belmo's favor. It's early. Answer. Prater for the turkey here to cut it to 10. Just enough of it. Timber on the 10. What the heck hit that 10 pin? The mechanic in the back? I still can't tell. The rack came down. That's crazy. Seeing some interesting hits here today. <laughs> 10 pin falls forward like it got hit by a taser. Bubba wants the front five. Got it. We did have a 300 game in this event last year. And we have a PAP six pack alert. And Jason Belmonte strikes here to win $1,000, sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Please remember to drink responsibly. Trying to make the struggles of game one a distant memory. For the front six. Oh boy. Oh baby. He's really got to make quality shots on that left lane. There's not enough push in the middle part of the lane like there is on the right. He has to finish game two on that same lane. Jason Belmonte looking to even things up. He's got a 30-pin lead halfway through game two. Special thanks, as always, to Travis O'Neill, Chief Executive Officer, the Angel of the Winds. Jeff Wheatley, Chief Operating Officer, Angel of the Winds, and John Brockett, Director of Slot and Bowling Operations, Angel of the Winds. Thanks, guys, so much for your incredible hospitality, this amazing facility. Yeah, man, I mean, Travis O'Neill and, and, and his people, what an amazing job they do here. This place is absolutely first class all the way, all the way around. 6-10 for Prater, resuming action. And some frustration wow. here in game two. Yeah, he was on three in a row and he could have closed the gap to 10 instead he goes through the nose out of the commercial break and remember Got mark yeah remember even with the problems bill monte's had he's dominated the qualifying portion of this event averaging 242 coming into today that was his four games yesterday Must win game two for Belmonte to have a shot at this title against Kyle Troop coming up right after this. Time is now for Prather in game Go. two. Late tap on the 10 again. Again? <laughs> That's like the the rear the rear attack, like the rear naked chokehold 
and then it goes down, right? It's crazy. Very pin unusual it, pin yeah, action. It's so insane. It keeps falling forward. All right, Belmo, big lead here. Trying to go 42 for the front seven. Locked in so far. Out of the break. That, Ball right, on the 10. That right lane is so juicy right now. Seven up, seven down. Belmont, the first seven. Tori Bowling, a perfect 300 game. Should hear any other player on today's show. Oh, a perfect game. Everyone in America can receive a free game of bowling courtesy of Go Bowling. To pre register, visit GoBowling.com and sign up for the Go Bowling Free America promotion. Belmont had a 300 in this event last year. Looks for eight. Kelsey! Sometimes you need that scout across the deck, RP, to match the 10 pin. Boom! Oh, just assaulted the 10 pin. Watch this. Oh, just a brutal attack, head pin into the 10. This is going to go to a ninth and 10th frame roll off for all intents and purposes. Belmonte perfect in game two. He's going to get the choice of starting lane and position, and it's going to be interesting to see which lane he, ch he chooses. I think he's, he chooses a start on the left lane and finish on the right. Kind of what we thought EJ Tackett was going to do, and EJ did the exact opposite. Payoff for Tackett. Belmonte looking for another 300 game. Do you know if he, if he were to, and I'm not going to say all the words because I don't want to jinx him, right? But, you know, if he were to do something crazy in the ninth and 10th frame, he'd be the only player to do it three times. On TV. He'd be the first guy to ever do it on TV. Three times. Three times. And then 34 officially, EJ Tackett's 300 at the Super Slam Cup was not a 4A PBA Tour title, so it didn't count on the list, although it was a televised 300 game. So officially on the list, Belmo's 300 here last year, June 5th, in Arlington was the last perfecto on TV. Well, and you have Wes Malott with two. It was a specialty event. Ryan Schaefer with two. One of his was a, a special event. That's another one. Yeah. All right. Nine up, nine down. Three to go. Now, if he, if he was finishing on the right lane, I'd, I'd, I'd have more confidence in this going down. I just feel like the left lane's a little more picky. Right lane, he's got all the room in the world, plenty of fold. Left lane, it's a little bit trickier. Looking for 10. Got it! Easy there. 7-9. Seven, 7-9 nine. Seven, nine taking a peek. We might just see one. The most first came in 2012 in Las Vegas. Second came last year here at this event over Kyle Troop. Looking for 11. Got it! One more to go! Will he make history as the first ever? To win three televised 300 games in his career. A lot of history. Hinges on this shot.
for perfection. Belmo, he's got it! Belmo does it again! A 300 game! The third of his career on TV. A first ever in PBA Tour history.